Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Do one day match ke passes, mere nai nai sona glasses, pichle saath dino me maine khoya, kabhi khud pe hasa mein aur kabhi khud pe roya. Hey what's up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Ramiz Zaman and today I have a question from J Advanced 2020 in the topic of heat radiation. Okay, so a container with 1 kg of water in it is kept in sunlight which causes the water to get warmer than the surroundings. The average energy per unit time per unit area received due to the sunlight is 700 watt per meter square and it is absorbed by the water over an effective area of 0 0.05 meter square. They are assuming that the heat loss from the water to the surrounding is governed by Newton's law of cooling. The difference in degree centigrade in the temperature of water and the surrounding after a long time will be. Okay. So, the data that has been provided is Newton's constant for Newton's law of cooling and heat capacity of water. First, let us do a quick recap of Newton's law of cooling. So, what does the statement says? So, the rate of decrease of temperature of a body is directly proportional to the temperature difference. So, the rate of decrease of temperature is directly proportional to the temperature difference of the body and the surrounding given that the temperature difference should be small. Let us derive Newton's uh, this law okay, using Stefan's law. So, what does Stefan's law says? That if there is a body at temperature T surrounded by uh, of surrounding temperature is T naught. So, the heat radiated per unit area per unit time normally is equal to Stefan's constant times T to the power 4 minus T naught to the power 4. So, the total heat radiated per unit time by a body of mass M having a specific heat capacity of C and at any instant the temperature is T. So, D dt of M C D equals to E sigma A t to the power 4 minus t naught to the power 4. Now, this thing represents energy radiated per unit area per unit time normally. So, for the whole area you should multiply with A um, and so this is the radiation per unit time of course, I am not multiplying with time here. Where E is it just gives you an idea of how much of the energy being emitted ok, fraction of the energy being emitted. Anyways, so M C uh, dt divided by time equals to e sigma a just expand it t to the power square t square minus t naught square t square plus t naught square ok uh, factorizing it again t minus t naught t plus t naught now see t and t naught are pretty much very close to each other so i can say that this is nearly equals to 2 t naught and this one is nearly equals to 2 t naught square. So, multiplying it we get 4 t naught cube. Okay. So, this is the rate of heat radiation by the whole body. Okay. By the, here I body means the water body actually and the decrease in temperature follows this law. Okay. As you can see this thing is constant surrounding temperature sigma a e m c all these are constant and it is directly proportional to the temperature difference. Okay easy. So, we need this is the Newton's law of cooling and this we will also use in our future question. Okay. So, according to the question they have given us the value of this constant. This is the constant for Newton's law of cooling. Okay. So, this guy here is equal to 0 0.001 as you can see constant for Newton's law of cooling okay. and uh, C is given and M is 1 kg. So, so, M C that is the total uh, heat capacity is 4200 joule per Kelvin. So, from here we get this numerator as 4.2 watts per Kelvin. Okay. Now, in steady state the amount of heat absorbed by the water will be equal to the heat radiated. So, heat absorbed is uh, 700 times the effective area okay, per unit time. Okay. Of course, this is per unit time. This we are talking about per unit time. So, 700 times 0 0.05 equals to see this is the heat radiation term. We will just use this one. Okay. So, I placed it here. We have already calculated this constant this part as 4.2. So, just we will put 4.2 here 
and we need to find out the temperature difference in the steady state so that del T is equal to this one divided by 4.2 after calculating you get 8.33 now see the question is easy but uh, the main thing is you need to extract the data properly okay uh, if you can remember this formula this equation directly while solving the question in your exam hall then of course you will get your full marks but uh, just don't get overconfident by solving very difficult questions that uh, easy question you might forget the easy formulas and all and you just mess up everything okay so that's the target of this this kind of videos of working out the previous year questions okay so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe like the video i'll see in the next one peace take care as you have come to the end of the video you get a cookie i'll see in the next one peace take care